Hi, in this class we will continue our study of integers and the next topic that we will see is board mass method for integers. Well, now board mass method for integers is used whenever we have a large expression such as the one shown on the board. So now we have this expression which has a minus 20, then a multiplication sign, then a bracket and then many more operators which have been given over here. So in this expression there are many operators, there is a minus, there is a multiplication, there is a division, there are brackets and there is also an addition sign. So there are all sorts of operators in this given expression and in this case because we cannot apply the operators in any random order that we want, this board mass method becomes very important. So now this board mass method tells us which operator to perform first and which operator to perform after that and so on. So now if I write board mass once more. So I'm writing the method or the full form of board mass. Now in board mass method, B stands for the bracket of. So we talked about B stands for bracket. O stands for the word of. D stands for the operation of division. So D means divide. M stands for the operation of multiplication. So M is multiply. A stands for addition. And finally, the S that is in board mass stands for subtraction. So this basically is the full form of board mass and we are now going to apply this order to this given expression. Now note that here the word board mass has B at the very beginning. So if we start from B and come downwards, we will follow the same order of priority of operators. What this means is if we have an expression such as this, then the first thing we resolve are the brackets. Because brackets come the first, because B comes before any other letter here. And so we write board mass means bracket of divide, multiply, add and subtract. So first thing that we do is to resolve the brackets. Now here the brackets are these, these and these. So we keep resolving the brackets first. Now whenever we resolve this bracket, we get minus 12 divided by 12, which we know is equal to minus 1. In a similar manner, I will now resolve the second bracket, which is minus 30 plus 2, which I know is minus 28. Then the third bracket is minus 2 plus 9, which I know again is 7. Well, so now we have resolved the brackets and then we will write down the rest of the numbers as they are. So minus 20 will be preserved. This multiplication sign will be preserved. Then this addition sign will be preserved. Then this division sign will also be preserved. And so we get a simplified expression. Now again, we will apply the board mass to this given expression. Now note that here again we have a bracket but the bracket has already been resolved that is this bracket's value is minus 1 and so we need not do anything about the bracket because we've reduced it to the smallest number. Next thing we do is realize the rest of the operators are multiply, add and divide. So we have multiply, add and divide left now. If you look at multiply it comes over here. If you look at addition it comes over here but if you look at division it comes here at the top. So first we will perform division. So if we divide minus 28 by 7, then I will first perform this division and minus 28 when divided by 7 will give me minus 4. So I have resolved this division first and then I will write down the rest of the numbers as they are. So this minus 20 will be retained. This into minus 1 will be retained. This addition sign will also be retained. And now I'm getting a still simpler expression. Now in this expression, again, I have a multiplication and I have an addition. Now, because multiplication comes before addition in this order, then we first perform this multiplication. So first I'm multiplying minus 20 by minus one. And when I perform this multiplication, I get the answer plus 20 or simply 20. And to this 20, I will add this number, which is minus four. Now we know that 20 plus minus four is equal to 16. And so we will get the final answer of this entire expression as 16. So this is the answer to this question. And so we can write this entire expression finally evaluates to the value 16. And in this way, we can solve or resolve any given expression using the board mass method or the board mass rule. Let us now see yet another expression that can be solved using the board mass method. So we have a question which has these terms. So the first bracket has minus 100 plus 99 inside it, which is added to another bracket whose contents are minus four into two. And then there is a division sign after which there is a bracket which contains 6 minus 10. And we have to resolve this given expression and find the value of this expression. Now, note that again in this expression, there are many operators. There is this division operator, there is a multiplication, there is an addition, there is a subtraction, and there is also bracket. So 
because there are multiple operators here we need to follow the board mass method to understand which operator to apply first now in board mass the bracket comes first and so we will always resolve the brackets at the first time so the brackets will be resolved first and if you look at this bracket minus 100 plus 99 then the value of this bracket is minus 1 if you look at the second bracket you get minus 4 into 2 which is equal to minus 8 and if you look at the third bracket which is 6 minus 10 which is minus 4 so now I have resolved the brackets and now I will simply retain the rest of the operator. So here there is a plus and here there is a division. Now in this second step we have two operators plus and divide. And now if you look at this order you will realize that divide comes much before adding and so we will first divide and then add. So first we will go for division. So we will look at this operation that is minus 8 divided by minus 4. And we know that minus 8 divided by minus 4 gives us plus 2 or simply 2. And so this value comes equal to 2 to which we add the minus 1 that we had originally obtained. And so now we have minus 1 plus 2 which clearly is equal to plus 1. And so we get the value of this entire expression as equal to 1. So we have now found out the value of this entire expression using the board mass method. So whenever we have an expression in which there are too many operators present then to resolve that to understand which operator to perform first and which to perform after that we use the board mass method which stands for bracket of divide multiply add and subtract.